very good morning class 9b we are going to start new poem the snake crying written by w w e ross so first of all you need to remember the name of the poet okay please everyone look here name of the poet is w w e ross okay r o s s uh, i have written by the time you were joining i have written word meanings yes with a random sort of only so we can note down Kathy is there, Harmeet Kaur is there, Gushan, and Aros. Fine. And then, beta. Uh, first of all, before starting this point, the snake crying. Now that is clear that snake is going to cry something. But what's that? That they have not mentioned in the title of the poem. Clear. So if it is not visible, word meaning somebody was saying. Online children, so I'm going to read also. Though it is quite difficult, pursuing, chasing, curving, twisting, glides, moves, stroke, hitting with stick, reeds, marsh plants with thick stems, vanishes, disappears, ripples, waves of water. Clear? If it is not visible in case, I have already spoken. So now. Now, what is there in the poem? The snake crying. So, first of all, you tell me. Whenever you hear the word snake, what comes to your mind? There's a game now. When yeah. if I speak one word, what comes to your mind? That we are asking. You will raise hand and then speak. When I say the word snake, what comes to your mind? Yes, Jatin. Dangerous. Yes. Harmful. Who says poisonous? Yes, poisonous. Online children, any other new word coming to your mind? Deadly, Deadly or <laughs> harmful, scary. Yes, daring. Okay, daring or frightening. So everybody is giving me a word. Yes, beta. Discuss with me, not with others, please. Ramneet is also there, beta. Ramneet. Okay. Late joining that time. Listen now. So when I ask you what comes to your mind when I speak the word snake, all of you are saying dangerous, poisonous, scary, frightening, daring. It means we, after hearing the word snake, we get scared. This is the general phenomenon. Okay, now nobody will speak. When I give you the chance. When I ask you a question, then you will speak. Otherwise, please listen to the teacher. Otherwise, I'll say you come and teach. Okay, when I'm teaching, please no interruptions. So you gave me so many words: poisonous, scary, frightening. Right? In that way, whenever you hear the words made, these words come to your mind. Okay. Now, second question is: I'm asking you all, online children also, you can raise hand. If you are confronted with a snake suddenly find you are there somewhere and you are stuck in a circumstance what will be your reaction raise your hand for that yes that is you will run okay that is one reaction no need to laugh on this everybody will give reaction on this yes this side you will keep on standing on a place without moving, and you will see the reaction of the snake. You want to say to go, or I will try to save myself. You will try to save yourself. Quite obvious. I will help. You will shout for help. Okay. Any other? And what if? What if snake tries to approach you in that case, and there is no space to run? Yes, Peter. You will try to defend yourself by trying to kill the snake. Okay, this is the answer given by. Why Raghu has said that? Yes. You will try to hold the snake on the tail side. Okay. So on the whole, Arna, please, this is not the way. So on the whole. Listen here. 
hopefully better our reaction will be to defend ourselves this is the i was this is a kind of research only i'm doing right now i'm trying to find if all of us including me i'm not saying you all if we think of the word snake we get scared and frightened secondly if we think that we will see a snake we will directly we will try to kill it firstly or we will call someone to kill it if we will not directly right in this point the snake crying poet w w t ross has the opposite notion he does not match our notion while he says one should have good knowledge about the creatures also they the see the theme of this point now Why, please try to try to look here. Which seems to be harmful is not always harmful. Number one, number two, appearances are deceptive. Always you see something. So this is not true always, but we see also that can be false. जो दिखता है कोई बार सही नहीं होता है. Appearances are deceptive. They can cheat you. Deceptive means you can be cheated too. Sometimes we see okay. Snake is there, but it's not a snake. Is there doesn't mean that it is going to sting you or it is going to harm you in any way. Maybe it will go away to its own place, and you by mistake accidentally you met it. Right? So poet is saying you should increase your knowledge. The snakes which are small in size and which are green in color specifically, they are harmless. You know, you have seen Discovery Channel. They know the features. Traits associated with color, size, as per the we can say of that particular creature. So they are they have bifurcated the snakes also, right? Black snakes, green snakes, brown snakes, and on the basis of that, traits are associated with it. So poet says green snakes are just like other earthworms and they are harmless. They do not you know harm you. They are smaller in size as compared to other. Yes, there are five. So you just eight minute. See why you are discussing here. I gave you the enough time for discussion earlier. So now let's without wasting time. But already we are not having much time to finish the syllabus. This is the last one, and tomorrow we will complete the question answers and one page of the chapter. So let's continue. Most of th us think that snakes as fear some symbols of death, but the snake in this poem is itself a victim. Who is a victim? Yes. Upon which any crime has been done, that person is victim. So he is saying, poet is saying that most of that I have already proved by asking you the question. Here I asked you about snake. You said dangerous, frightening. When I will be confronting, I will try to save myself. Fine. So yes, most of us have the same notion that snakes are fearsome symbols of death. But the snake in this poem is itself a victim. Now I'll be reciting the poem and then I will explain it. Okay. The snake trying to escape the pursuing stick with sudden curvings of thin long body. How beautiful and graceful are his shapes! He glides through the water away from the straw. Oh, let him go by the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. Small and green, he is harmless even to children. Along the sand he lay until observed and chased away. And now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim. Reads. So already we have written word meanings, right? Now poet is trying to say here that when we see a snake, we get scared. But now, from the point of view of snake, let's imagine snake tries to escape the pursuing the stick. Whenever we see a snake and we whatever object we are having here, why we are trying, we will try to save ourselves. Suppose we are having a stick. So we will pursue wherever the snake is going. We will chase it. We will go behind it, and we will try to kill it. So he is saying, snake also is scared of you, the way you are scared of it. Snake will try to save itself. It will try to run and escape. The pursuing stick. A person who is carrying a stick and 
चेजिंग इट एंड रनिंग आफ्टर इट टू किल इट इसलिए परसुइंग स्टिक बोला गया है so you underline this phrase pursuing stick actually this is a poetic device transfer epithet काटने में डिवाइस भी बना रहा हूँ तो दो ही डिवाइस transfer epithet this poetic device when uh, what is the explanation to this when adjective is used with a noun Noun is the name of any object. Stick. Pursuing the stick. पीछे आती हुई stick. Fine. Adjective add हो गया बीच में. Fine. So when an adjective is added with a noun, then it it is called a transfer epithet. Okay. That is the example. So they are going to specify the noun here in this. So they are saying. That with sudden curvings of his long body, the snake is trying to save itself by running away from the stick, which is pursuing it, which is chasing it. And what is the movement of the snake's body? Sudden curvings. Curvings means twistings. It is written on the board. So sudden twisting, which is not expected from you, it suddenly keeps on twisting and turning its body, long body. How beautiful its voice is! Look at it. Look at the grace and the that movement is very beautiful, right? And graceful. The shapes which snake is creating while moving, it seems to be very elegant, graceful, and beautiful. He glides through the water away from the storm. So, what does the snake do? Snake go through. Uh, he goes through the water. Away from the stalk. Stalk is stalk of stick. We are putting. We are going to put stalks on the snake, not to kill it. So stalk here stand for hitting with the stick. Clear yeah, meaning is written on the board. Stalk means hitting with stick. So for snake glides by twisting and turning its body. It moves even through the water or marsh plants, whatever comes its way. It will be moving. Just to save itself from the various stalks of the stick, clear? Then, oh, let him go over the water into the reeds. Poets is why to kill it? Always snakes are not always harmful. We say let them go. These creatures are also innocent. They do have right to live. Let him go over the water into the reeds to hide. Reeds are marsh plants with thick stems. You might have uh, read about it in the sciences. Fine. Right? Uh, these plants are basically found on the uh, on the verge of some a uh, water. Uh, uh, water. Fine. Right? Rivers or ponds. Fine. वहाँ पे ज़्यादा reeds पाए जाते हैं. Fine. These are the marsh plants with thick stems. And sometimes even वाटर इज क्लॉग देयर इनके आसपास थोड़ा थोड़ा पानी भी होता है और ये पानी की साइड पे इजीली मिल जाते हैं फाइन सो इज सेइंग दैट लेट दैट स्नेक रन लेट दैट स्नेक गो इनटू द रीड्स टू हाइड विदाउट हर्ट डू नॉट हर्ट देम विदाउट एनी रीजन जस्ट बिकॉज़ स्नेक इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी डेंजरस वी कैन नॉट इमेजिन कि इट विल हार्म अस अपीयरेंसेस आर डिसेप्टिव नॉट यस स्नेक्स आर कंसीडर्ड बी नॉर्मल स्पेशली The poet turns quite scientific here. He gives scientific explanation. He says, "Small and green colored snakes, they are harmless in science. If you read the facts about the snakes, small in size and green colored, he is harmless. Underline, he is harmless. A poetic device is used here. Yes, yes, very good, Jia. Alliteration is used. He yes. is harmless. Right." अभी 
alliteration is repetition of the consonant sound if i say v is harmless means h sound is repeated h sound is repeated h and h this is the example of alliteration okay so poet says he is harmless because he green color is small in size even to children he is harmless along the sand he lay until observed so these kind of green colored small size snakes they will keep on lying by the side of the sand without even your you will not even notice them right means it will not say anything to you and unless and until they are observed and chased away they will move when you run after them when you chase them with a stick or anything else unless and until you chase them they will be harmless to you tab tak wo aapko kuch nahi kahe and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds so poet says if you let them go without any hurt he vanishes vanishes means disappears gayab ho jana so it vanishes in the ripples ripples are waves of water ठीक है तो इट विल गो इन टू द रिपल्स और इट विल गो इन टू द मार्श प्लांट्स और वेर एवर इट गोज वेर एवर इट फाइंड द प्लेस बाय ट्विस्टिंग एंड टर्निंग इट्स बॉडी ब्यूटिफुली विथ ट्राइज टू हाइड इट सेल्फ अमंग द ग्रीन स्लिम रीड्स रीड्स आर अगेन मार्श प्लांट्स वेर स्नेक्स आर यूजली फाउंड दे आर वेरी रेयर टू बी फाउंड इन हाउसेज यू नो दैट बट येस वन इन अ वाइल्ड वी हैव हर्ड ऑफ द इंसिडेंट और वी हैव आई विटनेस ऑल्सो that is by chance usually they are found in such uh, forest areas or near the reeds or such kind of places only clear so the basic uh, theme of the poem is it seems to be harmful is not always harmful we should not harm any of the creature including snakes right and appearances are deceptive which seems to be venomous which seems to be poisonous is not always so as in the case of green colored small snakes poet has mentioned they are harmless even to children clear any doubt to anyone this is a free verse poem right this is a free verse poem what does it mean the paper the pen verse is poem only Three words say it. It means there is no rhyme scheme in this. When there is no rhyme scheme, it is called a free verse. Fine, you should know this also. So whatever was there, I have mentioned. Now it's your turn. You will be telling me without looking at your book, without looking at the board. I will be hiding it. Fine, and then you will be giving me the answers. What is the snake trying to escape from? Raise your hands. Okay. Yes, Lisa. First answer. Yes, the snake is trying to escape from the pursuing stick. Side by side, you can note down for your convenience all the value points and make sure your spelling mistakes are not there. The snake is trying to escape from the pursuing stick. Very good. Yes. जो कंटेक्स्ट में है वही होएगा. Is it a harmful snake? What is its color? Yes, Prachi. So no, comma. It is not a harmful snake. आगे. You you can also uh, add little bit uh, explanation to it. On your own, what do you think? According to the poet W W E Ross, uh, green colored and small sized snakes are harmless even to children. Right? According to the poet. green colored and small sized snakes are harmless even to children so that's why that is why we can say that it is not a harmful snake 
as it is also of green color and it is small in size. Clear? The poet finds the snake beautiful. Find the words he uses to convey its beauty. No, not like that. Briefly speak in sentences and raise your hand accordingly. Online children, you can also speak better, participate. Though five children are there, but even then you have to be. Are you there? All five? Yes, very good. Yes, uh, poet finds the snake beautiful. Firstly, explain that. Words are nice, okay? Words are beautiful and graceful. Yes, sit down, please, Soumya. Sit down. So, poet says, Bita, the poet finds the snake beautiful because of its sudden curvings of thin, long body. It is mentioned in the poem itself, right? The snake, uh, the poet finds the snake beautiful because of its sudden twisting also, you can write. Sudden twisting of thin, long body, right? And poet has used the words beautiful and graceful to convey its beauty. And you will put these words beautiful and graceful in single inverted commas also. Okay? You need to highlight your answer. Fourth question is, what does the poet wish for the snake? The pen. The poet wants to go over the water and reach the water. Yes, anything else you can add up into it? Yeah. Without getting hurt. That is the major wish. Sit down. Yes, Arun wants to speak this answer. Yes, Arun, Pata, please add it. Ma'am, ma he wants that the uh, snake runs away safely to the marsh plants with thick strings. Yeah, so, yes, listen. The poet wishes that. Yes, Pita. You start talking when we are discussing the questions. Navya, don't talk. So, Vita, actually, uh, you can see when poet says, Na, Oh, let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. This is the wish. This line specifically, because he is saying, Let him do this. So, this is like seventh line of this poem. Poet wishes to let him go over the water. Poet wishes to let the snake go. The poet wishes the snake to go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. So, poet wants to wants that snake should not be hurt in any way but this is the line written in your poem only seventh line poet wishes the snake to go over the water and into the reeds to hide without her that's it where was the snake before anyone saw it and chased it away where does the snake disappear yes Jared. Yes, so first answer is the snake was lying along the sand until it is observed and chased away. And it disappeared in the ripples among the green slim reeds. Last two lines of the poem. Ek bhi word nahi likhe aap karo ne na sunne. Sit down with that please. Fine, last two lines are the answer. So snake was lying along the sand before it was noticed and chased away. And after it was observed, it vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds. Next page number 126. Peter, 
there are three questions that you will do on your own first is find out as much as you can about different kinds of snakes you can put their pictures also that i will appreciate this is not mandatory but i will appreciate if you can put the print out of various snakes and you can write the two lines of description about that particular snake okay yes on fair notebook so you will put on the internet you can search various types of poisonous and non poisonous snakes yes beta minimum 4 5 right so that we can have basic knowledge i'm colored or black that is your choice and the one yes first two should be there third one let me read as you know from the previous lesson you have to read Yes, first the two questions. Okay, only first the two questions of one minute each. Okay, children, this is to be done on the phone.